and i was preparing for my interviews in college i used to solve a lot of questions around interview bit why because first it's like 250 odd questions or i guess 300 odd questions probably they have timer set on every single problem right some kind of a data structure and algorithm cheat sheet maybe some 200 problem 300 problem 400 problem sheet where somebody has actually filtered out 400 300 odd questions for you are dsa cheat sheets useful let's find out so if you are somebody who is actually preparing for your upcoming interviews in data structures and algorithms then there is a high likely chance that you must have stumbled upon some kind of a data structures and algorithm cheat sheet maybe some 200 problem 300 problem 400 problem sheet where somebody has actually filtered out 400 300 odd questions for you and you will find not just you but a lot of people lot of students around you actually following these sheets in order to prepare for their data structures and algorithmic round so i would like to share a couple of um, i would say opinion that i have regarding these cheat sheets right so without any further ado let's just start and let's start talking about that like do i feel they are pretty much useful or not before moving forward we have a very important announcement from the sponsor of this video gfg so if you are tired in purchasing a lot of different different premium courses to learn different different technologies altogether then don't go further GFG has your one stop solution with them introducing the brand new GFG premium which has got access to more than 35 courses which is worth rupees 50000 and more which is going to help you to learn every single thing that you need in order to learn around computer science that is java programming c++ programming data structures and algorithms web development and what not it's a one stop solution where you can actually come up and do hands on practice as well while learning concepts apart from that you will also get access to their ai bot which they call as yogi bot this is an ai bot that can actually help you to understand a lot of concepts help in doubt resolution summarize whatever you have learned and what not you will also get access to note making so that you can actually make some important notes whenever you are learning a new concept or solving a new problem you are also going to get access to hands on exercises so that you can actually make your learning even more better and get your foundations more clear altogether all of these coding exercises are going to be ai powered so that you can get an even better experience altogether and apart from that all of this is going to be an ad free experience altogether so here you can see you can find the list of all the possible courses that you can actually enroll right and you can just open up any one of them in your premium plan and you can see you will find all the list of chapters coming up here you can select any one of the concept that you want to learn for example you want to learn trees you can open the section of trees and you will find all the important video lectures that is going to help you to learn and understand the concept of trees once you have actually watched these then you can actually try to solve the problems and test your knowledge around the question here you can see there is a problem statement given along with that there is a code editor on which you can actually come up and try to write some code and see whether it is working fine on the internal test cases or not this is going to actually help you to understand whether your code actually solves the corner cases for the corresponding problem or not so what are you waiting for check out the link in the description section below where you can actually go and subscribe for the gfg premium solution you can actually subscribe for it for an annual plan or a half yearly plan whatever suits you based on your preparation altogether so that's it and now let's get back to the video so if you talk about like how do i prepare for any kind of a dsa round like i guess in the last one year i gave like 10 odd interviews for different different companies and i was able to mostly uh, clear all of them ap apart from a couple of them that have been rejecting me for quite some time so uh, if you see all of my interview experiences that i have actually uploaded on my channel uh, there was a decent amount of dsa as well that was asked to me now if you talk about my experience then any kind of a online coding round like like i believe 70 to 75% of the online coding round the problems that are asked in the online coding rounds are pretty much different at least they are not like exact copy paste of 400 odd lead code questions right they generally modify the problem a bit and the overall difficulty level of the problems is relatively on the harder end right so if you talk about like if i would use these kind of sheets for the online coding rounds probably not why because there is a problem with these kind of sheets first they like and it's not like the problem doesn't exist because somebody has actually authored this thing for you the people who have actually authored this sheet has actually spent a lot of time to actually curate a sheet like this for you so technically they have done a good part from their end 
but i believe the problem lies with the students who are actually consuming these sheets now some students might differ but a majority of the students what they actually do is they think that okay these 400 questions are their final bible and they are just going to like rote learn all of these questions and if some questions are actually asked from this sheet they are going to just throw the solution directly to the interviewer if somebody is uh, somebody is asking question apart from these uh, sheets then they uh, start stumbling upon so this is the first and the foremost problem that your overall sample set is kind of like very small so if you know a bit about machine learning then in machine learning there is a concept called as overtraining using your data set right so generally what basic machine learning algorithms do is if you have a data set you divide your data set into a 70 30 split which is one is a training set and one is a testing set right you do not want to over train your model otherwise if there is any kind of an outlier data or some data that is not uh, belonging to the overall set like exactly then your model starts answering in a bit, bit more erratic way same thing actually exists with students at least i feel that most of the students what they are doing is they are just following these 300 questions and if like some question are asked apart from the topics that are present in those 300 questions they are not able to mostly answer the question and the biggest uh, hurdle comes in these kind of online coding tests only because in online coding test the variety of the problems and the type of problem is significantly different from the traditional lead code question that is technically present in these sheets right so i believe this is the first and the foremost problem that i directly see with these sheets now talking about the face to face interviews there is a good majority of companies which ask relatively simpler dsa questions if you see all of those kind of companies then the questions asked in those companies can actually map same to same from these sheets so in those kind of cases this these kind of sheets can be useful but the problem is we do not want to just prepare for a certain set of companies right we would like to prepare ourselves as a com computer science engineer we are not just lead code problem solver that if we are given some x number of lead code question we can solve them rest nothing right for example uh, in case you actually interview for google google is uh, notoriously famous for actually modifying a lot of questions in different different format like you might have solved questions on searching something in a binary tree or binary search tree in google probably the problem statement can actually modify itself like in linux you have a find utility right so the find utility helps you to find a file or folder in a inside a folder directory a folder directory is actually a representation of a tree only right but if you have to let's say find all the files which are which are of .txt extension then you might have to do some kind of a tree traversal here now there are some students who will be able to map their originally practiced questions with this kind of a question that okay we have already solved some question and we will be able to map it but there will be a majority of the students who will feel like oh i have never solved this question and they will not be able to think of the final solution altogether because the problem statement has been modified with a more real life scenario with a more computer science scenario but having a data structures and algorithmic backed problem statement so this is the problem that i feel is the main thing that your overall you are actually training yourself with a very small set of problems and if something comes from it it's all good it's all great if something comes from outside of the scope of those problems then a lot of students start stumbling upon now if you ask me like should i like do i recommend to use sheets i definitely do recommend using sheets but with a slight uh, i would say different approach because somebody who is an experienced engineer has actually shortlisted these problems for you you should also do some work on top of it first i believe these sheets are actually useful for those people who have some interview they are actually prepared good for dsa and they just want to like refresh or revise all of their learnings in a very short span of time you can pick up these sheets and start solving questions second thing try to pick questions randomly otherwise in most of the sheets you have the topic mentioned so you start thinking with respect to that topic only if you will be randomizing the questions you will be in a better way to actually think with a more wider aspect without knowing the initial tag or the initial topic of the problem third thing try to analyze patterns these sheets are really great resource to actually analyze patterns because in these sheets a lot of similar pattern problems are clubbed together so you don't you just have to like work a bit and figure out the similar pattern questions and try to understand the pattern this is something that i have been talking about from a long period of time that in data structures and algorithms try to figure out the pattern 
every question is not a new question there will be some relatable or some related question that you must have already solved and based on that question on the foundations of that question you will be able to solve new questions so these sheets can be useful because they have a filtered set of questions so you do not feel overwhelmed for example nowadays lead code has also more than 2000 odd questions nobody can solve 2000 odd questions so a filtered list of 400 questions can be good but don't just start rote learning those 400 questions try to see that okay this is a smaller version of lead code that is in front of you you have to solve it in a similar way that is figure out patterns if you're able to figure out patterns you will be able to apply those patterns as well apart from that i believe these sheets can be useful for your foundational knowledge and for your revisional aspect but apart from these sheets also try to solve some more harder and some of the more non traditional questions for example try to solve some questions which involves some kind of a binary search optimization on dynamic programming this can be good for your overall problem solving capabilities and will also help you to understand newer set of problems try to solve some problems which can be technically optimized using segment trees on dp and so on so these kind of mix and match of topics are also there which can actually help you to see new aspects and newer variety of problems so even in case of online coding test if you get some harder relatively harder problem by spending 5 to 10 minutes on the problem you will be able to come up with some kind of a solution apart from that i still believe that lead code is a great resource so solving lead code contest can actually help you a lot in your online coding test which these sheets cannot like directly help you because most of the people do not solve it in a time bound fashion but if you can solve these sheet questions in a time bound fashion like just randomly pick three questions set up a timer and see if you are able to solve those questions or not without knowing the difficulty without knowing the top topic this can also be a great way to actually solve these questions like my overall point is that these sheets are very good curated by some good engineers you need to use this in a right way think it about that like they have shortcutted some nicer questions from the very big pool of questions because nobody can solve that big pool of questions now it's up to you how you actually use it a good alternative to these sheets can be something like interviewbit.com like when i was preparing for my interviews in college i used to solve a lot of questions around interviewbit why because first it's like 250 odd questions or i guess 300 odd questions probably they have timer set on every single problem right and the problem statements and the test cases are relatively good right at that point of time lead code was also getting a lot of attraction but for interview preparation we used to like technically follow interviewbit.com of course there are like not all the pattern of problems in interviewbit but there were some decent amount of problems so for revising the stuff like if let's say we have an interview in the next 5 days and we have to like uh, see what all topics we are like very good with we want to revise stuff we want to like code fast and like complete things in 5 to 10 days these 250 questions were helpful so you can use it in a similar way for a sheet as well right so that is kind of like my opinion and if you ask me that would i recommend as i mentioned yes i would recommend but use it in a more better way rather than just taking up these questions and mangi ka because one thing that i have realized is that nowadays every student in india in like in any engineering college has probably solved 300 or 400 odd questions so you need to be in a situation where you are different from the others right whenever you are solving a question see some real life applications of it for example there is a problem of serialization and deserialization of binary tree figure out why serialization and deserialization as a concept exists in computer science right you will be able to understand a lot of software engineering aspect around serialization of data deserialization of data that let's say when a client makes a call to the server over the network you have to first of all serialize your data send it and then deserialize on the server side there are some deserialization and serialization libraries in these kind of frameworks that actually do it for you which are like on a some simpler level you are actually implementing in that particular problem so whenever you are solving a problem figure out the patterns out of the problem and figure out some real life applications of the problem of course not for every problem you will be able to figure it out but for a lot of them you will be able to figure it out and this will make your overall dsa learning even more better so if you actually agree with my thoughts do let me know in the comment section if there is if there is some other aspect to looking at it do drop those actual thoughts also in the comment section i would be really happy to uh, take a look at your opinions as well if you ask me that do i recommend some specific sheets then definitely i would recommend you guys to use the uh, sd sheet from striver because a lot of students are actually already using it i have also myself seen the list of questions is pretty good so you can def definitely go and uh, technically use that i have like taken a look at other sheets which are like probably very similar to these only so if an alternative sheet i have to recommend i would go with a neat code 450 kind of questions they are also a good relative set of questions which are apart from lead code as well like some questions from neat code only uh, is actually included there so that would be also a great alternative to the striver one but there are more sheets so you can self explore those and if you find a better relevant one you can actually check that out 
That being said, let's wrap this particular video here. And I would like to uh, know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do drop your thoughts that whether you use a sheet or for your preparation or not, and what exact approach do you technically follow. Till then, take care, guys. Bye bye. I am Sanket Singh, signing off.